Hey guys, my name is Sophie the Shadow Hunter, and today I'm doing my book review on In Light of What We Know by Zia Hadra Ramon. I finished this book about three or four days ago. This book took me about eight days to finish, and I really enjoyed it. It was a beautiful book. I got it off of Book Out. It was like five or six stars. I couldn't, there's stuff was covered. It's beautiful. A view from the airplane in the sky. Um, his book was, to be honest, was a big letdown. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed some of the side stories in it. I enjoyed the, the between the two different friends, their relationships. So basically it starts out, there's these people who knew Charlie a long time ago. One day, he shows up at his doorstep and he lives with his friends. And they talk about 9-11, some like neo-Nazis and everything, and... They're having, they have about their relationships, like with their their girlfriends, growing up, what their families was like. Um, it was interesting. It was just really slow, and I just felt like it dragged on and on and on. I was really expecting this to be awesome. I think I gave this a three out of five stars, three maybe three point five, maybe four. I thought about giving it a four. I just thought that was a little too strong because I used to give like all the books I would re read like a four. Five, four or five stars and that's before I was really delving into what I already thought it was about um I loved the writing style there was lots of quotes in it um it was a good book I was just expecting it to be better and it was a big letdown for me but let me guys know what you thought in the comments down below so it was just um you know a story about their friendship and their lives and you know the things that went on, you know, and, um, them trying to, you know, figure out what they really want with their life, what they're going to do with their life. One of their friends, he was asking him, he was going to get married. He's like, do you really want to marry her? Do you love her? And he's like, I don't know, you know, and, um, here, I'm going to read you the one last thing. This, this, this quote at the end of the book, I just loved it so much. And to me, it kind of made the book better ending. It says, I'll show this last paragraph. It says, The picture means much to me. Of course, it reminds me of my childhood in Princeton, releasing time from the deep eddies of memory. Those were happy years, but it was, a, it was an austerity of the image that is most affecting this, the simplicity of its content. When I look at this picture, I see two people undeterred by time walking and talking, talking, bumping against each other. I see discuss the things that matter to them and why they matter. And here's the picture they're talking about. So I just, to me, I think that kind of summed the book, you know. They were looking for their meaning in their life, to, to what mattered. And, you know, at times I don't think they really knew what mattered. You know, I think we all kind of have times when we're just busy going through life and we're not thinking, you know, what really matters to us, what's important. We're just trying to get through the day-to-day. -day. I think that was the big thing through this book was they were just trying to live their lives, you know, and they didn't realize what was really important to them, like getting married. They loved a person, obviously... Before you make a good decision, you need to be sure that's what you want. 